Hello guys, this is Nikhil from DJP Media and in this video we'll be looking at how to do some really cool vocal harmonies as well as some auto-tuned style vocal effects using Live 11's Spectral Resonator audio effect. We also have free workshops every Sunday and the link for that is in the description below. So now let's get started. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create rich choir-like harmonies like this. From a single vocal line like this one. We'll also be seeing some really cool auto-tune style vocal effects. All this using Live 11's built-in spectral resonator audio effect. So let's check it out. Let us start from scratch with just the vocals. Make sure the vocals are consolidated as a single flip. When you right click and convert it to melody and wait for it, you get this melodified version of your vocals through an electric piano. Now we need to do a few tweaks to this converted MIDI. The MIDI scale feature with the highlighted notes definitely narrows down the choices. Optionally, you can hit legato to sustain all of your MIDI notes to the adjacent ones. And now we need to feed these notes into the spectral resonator. And where do we put the spectral resonator? It goes on the vocal track because we want to affect the vocal harmonics through it. And over here we'll select the melody to MIDI track which controls the resonant frequencies. The transpose lets you offset the incoming MIDI and DK lets you control the DK time of the resonant harmonics. Keep it low for a tighter, drier sound. And switch on the unison for some thicker, wider sound. Let us switch from the mono to poly mode, which will allow us to make harmonies. Now we can go back to our melody MIDI clip and start adding notes parallelly to create harmonies. Copying my notes from the original melody and placing it parallelly allows me to retain the original timing easily. The highlighted scale makes it super easy to try out seconds, thirds and fifth harmonies and so on. The key is to keep listening as you build out your harmony. Let's see what we got. And now you can come back to the spectral resonator and tweak some parameters or add some movements. The shift parameter lets you shift your resonant harmonics higher or lower without really going out of key. Another method to create such vocal harmonies is to use chord progressions which are already there in your music. All you have to do is select the appropriate MIDI track from the drop down. I've also adjusted the dry wet control on the effect. This is to hear the blend of original melody with the spectral resonator harmonies. And now for some classic auto tune style effects that I mentioned earlier. Spectral Resonator offers MPE support and one of the fun things to do is to go into our MIDI clips note expression tab and start drawing out this really crazy pitch bends. And let's listen to how it sounds. If you want to learn more about this insane pitch bend technique, check out this other video I made. The link is in the description. And the last thing I'd like to leave you guys with is to create audio effect tracks to use with Spectral Resonator. This way I can stack up multiple instances of Spectral Resonator. And give different types of settings to each chain so they all work well with each other in a nice, rich, harmonious kind of way. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and happy learning.